All right, so let's hop right. I'm gonna show you guys. This is kind of like a Borderlands 3 review. I've played this game a little bit now, or quite a bit, I guess. Some people have played it more than me, but relevant. So, just gonna give a little review, kind of my thoughts on the game. I know there's some stuff that uh, some people agree could be better. Some people don't like, you know, Ava, her voice. Can we get a different voice actor for Ava? Uh, but so far, man, the game's amazing. Definitely go out and buy it. No need to wait for a sale. Apparently, there's some technical issues with the game. I really haven't experienced much of that. The most that's happened to me is a freaking fell through the floor, but all I had to do was save and quit. Some people experience some game breaking stuff which isn't good but I don't know how they did all that so that stuff's usually on PC but so definitely go out and buy it the game's amazing uh, I was watching the Angry Joe review and he was saying he didn't like the writing of some of the jokes or the side missions and I can I can see that, but for the most, they did pretty well, in my opinion. The game's been in development for a little while, and they kept pretty true to the whole Borderlands aspect either way. Some of the missions are really well written. They're actually really fun to do. Some of the side quests, and there's a shit ton of side quests. There are quests that reference past games, and... It's cool to see stuff from the other Borderlands games make it into the more modernized versions of the game. And so yeah, I guess uh, you know you can play through the story mode, and once you beat the story mode, you kind of unlock these gun ranks, which were kind of like your badass ranks in the Borderlands 2. I'm not sure about the pre-sequel, I never got into that much, but basically works like a whole nother XP bar, so even if you're playing on a new character, like say I'm not level 50 anymore, I'm only 29, but I still have all my guardian ranks on this character, so once you beat the story mode, you unlock those, and then you also unlock kind of the second playthrough called True Vault Hunter mode, and I think... I'm not 100% sure about the differences between the story modes, but I think you get loot, like stronger loot. There'll be like an icon out of your weapon. It kind of looks like a vault symbol. You see how it says item score level required 25? There'll be like a vault symbol in there. It'll make it look really cool. That's how you know it's like better loot. I think the item score on those can be slightly higher than some of them max out at like 560 but I've seen like 611 from those anointed weapon also beating the game you unlock uh... alright, so once you beat in the story mode along with the guardian ranks you unlock and the true vault hunter mode you unlock what's called mayhem mode which essentially you'll have to be on a completed playthrough you can't go into true vault hunter mode and start playing on Mayhem, which is what I recommend to do is just complete true Vault Hunter mode before you start putting time into the Mayhem, but it's really easy to just hop into like a circle of slaughter with the uh, Mayhem 2 or even 3 if you're capable of surviving that. The enemies can take a really long time to kill on Mayhem 3. On Mayhem 2 though, even basic enemies will start dropping legendaries and rares like the whole battlefield will be covered in weapons you can't even pick up because your damn inventory you don't have enough inventory space that mayhem mode man that's where it's at it's real fun stuff but as with most games playing with your friends is, is more fun but now this game is just super enjoyable, man. You can just kind of play it forever with these guardian ranks. It's really nice. It's really nice. Yeah, go buy the game. There's reason to play it. They'll fix all the issues eventually. I mean, I've barely experienced any of them. Let's not jinx it. But that's the end of the review. It gets a freaking ape shit. It gets like a S, a triple S, dollar signs.